the day was really long, uh, especially on the back nine. You know, it was, uh, he was obviously two shots, Rashid was two shots ahead going into the 15. But the best thing was I was really calm the whole day. Uh, even though I was behind, I never really felt like, you know, I needed to catch him. I just thought that I'll play my own game. And, uh, you know, I did that till the 18th and uh, that got me the win. It was, you know, to be honest, I was a bit upset with my putt on the 9th. Obviously, Rashid had a great shot. You can't really control someone else's game. But I was upset because I hit it really close. I, I had a three-footer and I didn't really miss a three-footer the whole whole week. So that miss was, you know, that kind of, uh, you know, angered me. But uh, to be honest, I I think I bounced back well. Obviously, I made a bogey on the on the 12th, but, you know, I had good shots coming in uh, till the 18th and, uh, you know, finished off well. On the 15th, I think that uh, did make a difference because, you know, as soon as Rashid took a penalty, Robin chipped out, so I knew he had to really work hard to make a part. But then I had hit a very good drive, but that second shot was really bad. You know, I was I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do, and I pulled it into the bunker. But uh, you know, uh, I think I, that was one of the best shots of the day to make that up and down because it was a long bunker shot, which is not, never easy. It's like a 30-yard bunker shot. So I hit it to about five feet and made the putt. So I think that was uh, really good. Because before that, you know, I thought like I had to play really well to catch up with Rashid. But as soon as I made that birdie and he made the bogey, so we were on level terms. Yeah, the, so as soon as Rashid hit left it short, I obviously had to make two putts. So I wasn't really trying to make it, but uh, there was a misjudgment on my part and even my caddy's part. So I told him that the putt isn't going to be that slow. But as soon as Rashid hit it, we were like, it probably is a slow putt. And it actually wasn't that slow. And I hit it slightly too hard and obviously it went that far. So I was, you know, on the second part, I was actually more upset that I hit it that far uh, from the hole. I had like a 10-footer to, to win. And uh, But, you know, I was stroking well, so I saw the line. Obviously, I could see it breaking right to left. Uh, and obviously, I knew the line coming coming back. And, uh, you know, I knew the line. I hit a good part and it, it went in the cup. So, yeah. yeah. Like I said, it's obviously, it's always great to come back to... Uh, uh, Calcutta, the people here are really good and especially this time of the year during Christmas, a lot of people come out to watch. So it's, it's a very festive, uh, you know, uh, kind of uh, environment on the course. So that's, that's what I said. I mean, all players, I think, enjoy playing this week. There's no cut, so there's no pressure. Everyone's happy from day one. So that's, that's a good part and I've won here twice. So I've, I've had a really good relationship and I'm always happy to come back. It was pretty up and down. I mean, I started with the bogey and uh, a good comeback on second made a bogey there. But uh, disappointed on fourth, I think. Uh, par five, I was in the center fairway with the rescue and I hit it right. I made a par there. So we were all, uh, equal after four. You know, so it was. I, I didn't expect that uh, start on the uh, like first four, four, five holes. But it was fine. I mean, I made a par, good par on six and seven. And then yeah, good birdie on 8 and the eagle on 9, so I was too short ahead. I had a pretty, really good chance uh, that if I can shoot one or two on the back 9, I would have get the trophy, but uh, you know, end up with 2 over in back 9. So that was the thing. I think it was very good because after 2012, the same procedure, three tournaments, won the maximum top 10. तो काफी अच्छा बहुत अच्छा फील करता है कि चलिए कम से कम लाइफ में दोबारा जो कि सोचा भी नहीं था शायद उससे ज्यादा बेहतर हो गया है 2012 वाली ज्यादा बेहतर थी क्योंकि उस साल जो मेरे परफॉर्मेंस था वो बहुत ही ज्यादा स्ट्रांग था और लगभग जितने भी मेरे मेजर टूर्नामेंट थे सभी में लगभग मैं 3 दिन के बाद लीडर रहा और एक टूर्नामेंट उनमें बड़ा टूर्नामेंट जीता भी गेम में मेरी स्वभाव कंसिस्टेंसी ज्यादा अच्छी रही स्पेशली थोड़ा मेरे आयरन चेंज किए थे लास्ट ईयर एंड ऑफ द ईयर में और पटर भी चेंज की थी तो उसका मुझे काफी हद तक बहुत बेनिफिट मिला है इस गोल्फ कोर्स का रिकॉर्ड तो फिर मेरा सबसे अच्छा रहा है मैंने अपने लाइफ के बड़े कार्ड स्कोर पे मारे हुए क्योंकि इस गोल्फ कोर्स का लेआउट और इसकी ग्रीन्स वगैरह की जो कंडीशन है वो मुझे बहुत ज़्यादा अगर मैं कहूँ गोल्फ कोर्स तो हमारे इंडिया में बहुत हैं लेकिन कुछ स्पेशल ग्रीन होती हैं जो आपको पसंद आती हैं उनमें ग्रीन्स कैलकटा की इट्स बिन ग्रेट गुड फिनिश uh it's been actually quite a roller coaster year for me uh we started off uh, coming uh, coming into the year we didn't have many expectations we thought we'd play selective events and uh, see how it goes we were working on a swing change um but uh, as the year pro as the year progressed i got more and more comfortable being on tour being uh, in a position to win uh 
So I think it was just a combination of a lot of factors that uh, helped me perform well at the end of the season. And uh, I'm really glad with the way I finished. Uh, I would have liked to, to end it with a win, with at least one win. But I'm, I'll, I'll still take a lot of positives from this year and uh, work on it and hopefully do a little better next year. I'd say I played really well in uh, BPGC. I, I probably was the closest to winning over there. Um, I had I played really good. I was feeling really good about my game over there. Um, and I was actually really disappointed that I didn't uh, pull it off. Um, so yes, I think BPGC was, a, was probably the best week for me. Uh, next, obviously, I'm taking a lot of positives. Um, just going to get more and more comfortable with the swing now. Uh, work a little bit on the weaknesses that I found through the year and uh, hopefully come out a uh, better player, a stronger player and uh, like I said, uh, better finishes next year, more, more top fives. Uh, hopefully a win will come soon. When we first conceived this tournament six years ago, the basic intent was let's try and make it the best uh, that we can. And I think over the years, uh, you know, we may have made a few mistakes initially to begin with, but it has matured into a great tournament which we also ourselves enjoy. And what we see is the kind of response that we get from the players, it encourages us. As sponsors, we got to see a couple of things that are the players enjoying. Uh, is there a response from the local golfing fraternity? Does the club support these kind of tournaments? And all this is happening. And that's what encourages us to take this tournament forward. And we've done that for the last six years. That was the objective and I think we've achieved most of it. See, one thing is for sure that unless there is good sponsorship, the game is never going to grow. And one of the objectives of our sort of a sponsorship was also to make the game grow. And uh, the good thing that we are seeing today when we see Subankar and uh, you know some others who are growing into the European or the Asian circuit is that if there is going to be sponsorship, you will get better players coming into the circuit. But if the money is not going to be available from the corporates into the game, you will see a shrinkage. And, and cricket is uh, something that you need to see what is happening over there. And it's all because of sponsorship. So I hope tomorrow the corporate fraternity would sponsor tournaments and you'll see great players. I mean, you have Shubankar at 21 years winning a European Tour event and he has the world on his, as a center stage for him. <laughs> you know, there is a lot of pressure when we plan our program. The amount of people that do want to come and play and I don't think so we are able to accommodate all of them. We have so many flights and you know, there is a fair amount of weightage. It takes six hours to complete a course. So all these are sort of a few of the negatives on a golf course. But having said that, it's an event that you know everybody looks forward to. Uh, you get to interact with the pros. Uh, you meet different pros each time you want to play with a different one. And so it's, it's a great high that we get in terms of walking through 18 holes with a professional and seeing the way they make it look so easy for us. So it's great fun actually for all of us. After a hard week's work, I would say, and you get to play on a Sunday, it takes a lot of load off you because you're playing amongst your friends, you're playing a competition, you have a competitive spirit and you have a lovely golf course. You know, to top it all, you have a nice ambience where you are playing. So all that encourages you to go back on a Monday morning feeling fresh and saying, OK, we've done something nice over a Sunday. Otherwise, what else would you do? You probably sit at home and go to sleep rather than come on a golf course, which we actually enjoy and look forward to.